All right, all right, all right. I mean, hey guys, you saw the title. I'm trying to make a game, but the problem, I know nothing about coding or making a game. All right, I took on some little Python things. That's about it in my life. Nothing about Roblox, Lua, none of that. I don't know nothing about Roblox language, none of that. Not even like a basic program like Python. I came and make a loop or whatever. And UI, never done that in my life. I did some Photoshop, so I'm gonna try to make something out of that, you know? So for the first thing, what am I making? That's a good question. That's what I don't know. What's better way than just go to Roblox and see what's something that has like little to no competition and something that hasn't been done before. Something that's new, but something that's easy. Something that's good to replicate. And if you're wondering, how am I going to make this game with zero coding experience or no, like, you know, like game development stuff? ChatGPT, YouTube, and my great, great, great tactics that I don't know what I'm going to do about. All right, now let's get to finding the game what I want to make. All right, so now that we're on the homepage of Roblox, right, let's see what's going on. You know, let's see what's popular, what's popping. So you see, there's games like anime games, but like that's too much competition. Like there's so many block shoot games and I'm not making the block shoot game. I don't know all that coding, all right? I don't want to make an FPS game. That's too much work. Plus there's too many games with that. on this game so and it's good widgets look at that popular didn't mean not too old like eight months maybe eight months ago nine months ago okay so wait i know there is a lack of pokemon game in roblox right okay brick bronze these are like basically dead what if i combine rng and pokemon wait am i onto something y'all Hold up, I might be onto something. Okay, there's too many shit happening. I don't know what's going on. Stop, no thanks. Get out of my screen. Full screen, please. Here we go. RNG. Okay, wait. How about I make character RNG, but I, instead of characters, I put Pokemon cards. Like Pokemon trading cards. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I have... So basically, here's... here's I just made up something, okay? The players win the game. They have a roll button. You roll, click on the roll. And you go through a bunch of Pokemon cards, right? Like a real life Pokemon cards, like those kind of things. And yeah, copyright might be a problem. We'll think about that later. Is I'm not trying to make a huge game. I'm trying to make a simple game, you know? Maybe I can get away with copyright a little bit. Um, Nintendo, please still stop. Um, but I'm trying to make Pokemon. Pocket yeah, Pokemon. I'm going to call it Pokemon for this video because no copyright. Okay, now that we're on YouTube, I don't know what's going on, on my recommended page. You know, don't worry about that. But how to make a Roblox RNZ game. RNZ game in Roblox. 26 videos? Uh, yeah, I was watching this too, y'all. Like, I think it was like 2023 when I watched. Jesus. Okay, that's too much work if you ask me. Wait, let's click off that. All right, close that. All right, now we're in this guy's thing. And I'm pretty sure he said like, go to game settings. Save to Roblox, right? I'm going to call it Souls Testing. These are like games I was working on back then. None of these works no more. Alright, so, and he said go to, I think he said go to test. No, go to home. Game settings, Q. No idea what this does, by the way. I'm just doing what he told me to do, right? That's, 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 that's how I'm doing. And if I go in. Okay, okay, credits. Yeah, of course. I might remove this screen, but still credits to this guy from Prime with the base plate. I will change everything about this game, guys. I will change everything. All the UIs, all the system, everything. Inventory system seems to work in. This settings, too. That's cool. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Keep. So the very first thing that I did was add some UIs, right? Change the UI into some like, Pokemon related stuff. And it was very simple to do because all you gotta do is go to inventory, right? Let's say for inventory, I'm gonna change the icon, scroll down. And I already uploaded the decal, like uh, image from, I edited, went to photo, like canvas, right? And just made a picture. And what I do is I upload that to Roblox, and all I gotta do is copy paste the code, and boom, it just pops up right away. It's very simple, very straightforward. So that was like very simple to figure out. I didn't really need any tutorial for that one. That one was just like a basic concept, right? And I'm just trying to figure out how 
to make this work because it's actually not working how I want it to. I believe it should work. But basically, if you can see when I go in, right, the inventory button isn't working right now. I'm trying to fix that. But as you can see, like how the button that goes bigger and smaller when I hover over it, like, so I like that part. It works, you know. It's gonna be more immersive once I add the sound effects to it, but auto roll works as well. And yeah, that's about all that I have done. And it didn't take me like maybe like 15 minutes of work right now. I went to canvas, you know, put the text over the pokeballs. So I mean pocketballs. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna figure out how the inventory system works, yeah, and I'll be back with you. Alright guys, so I basically fixed it. I made the UI a little bigger. The UI looks ugly right now, I get it, it's fine. But what I'm gonna what I was working on right now is Basically, if I go to um, replicated, I believe, no, roles, right? So there's a bunch of stuff. So I changed everything's name to like in a Pokemon name. So instead of like, you know, common, uncommon, like Aqua, whatever we had before, I changed it to Pikachu, right? And then Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and all that stuff, right? This is very simple. I, I figured this out on my own. But for, and I try to make it so images of the actual Pokemon card pops up and not the, you know, just text. So for that, I use ChatGPT and actually how do I make it so an image label pops up, blah, blah, blah. And it was very simple, right? So all I had to do was I had to add image and I had to upload the card, like the image I wanted to pop up onto Roblox for ID cows. Like upload into Roblox as an image and now I just got to copy paste the ID of the image. Like this, ChatGPT gave me this line right here, which is very simple. Thanks ChatGPT for that one. And basically after that, uh, what happens is I believe it's in let me look at it uh not cutscene we did i realized the person who made this original one had a cutscene as well we're gonna definitely change that one um but uh but 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 basically what this does is for the image layout right it like turns the what do you call the text into image i'm trying to find where the image place is like i said like i am figuring shit out as we go right so Roll frame. Okay, so you see how I was, before there was a text label here, right? Text label instead. I changed, like, basically before there was text label, I delete that. I changed it into an image label, right? So image can show. And I customized some cards onto canvas, right? I put in canvas and put some card in there. And this took me a while to figure out, like, this image thing because it was not popping up for a bit. And I was, like, you know, messing around. Like, the ID was not showing up. So what I did was I put the code in here and then copy paste that ID over here and then did that for every single image because it was not showing up directly. And it worked out. So now we have a show rule. And I wanted to actually like change some other stuff here in Rule Manager, right? I wanted to make it not in Rule Manager. It was, I think, uh, button. I, I'm looking for the, I'm, I'm not new to this code as well. So I'm trying to figure out as we go. So I think I'm gonna do like 25 instead. So what this does is instead of doing like, it was 15, right? So what it did was, after it rolled 15 cards, it will show whatever we got. Like the 15th one will be our, will be what player gets, right? So the roll ends pretty quickly. So I'm gonna make it 25, so the roll kind of goes on for a bit. It has a bit, good, good length to it. And now I made some images, like I said, like in Canvas, I got some uh, trading cards. I like, you know, added some effects to it a little bit, give it a little depth and perspective. And basically what it looks like right now is if I go here, as you can see, I can roll and boom. I gotta like relocate this and like, you know, maybe move it up and change the UI a little bit. But as you can see, it's a bit slow. I could definitely change that. Um, but yeah, the location is kind of weird right now, but it goes up here and see Pikachu, right? So I'm gonna make it so you can also like see the actual picture here instead of the name. So I'm gonna figure that out later. But for now, I was trying to make it so uh, visual. Let's look around and see if we can find how to make it slow. Okay, speed, let's do 0 0.01. Uh, let's see if that changed as much. Okay, I think, yeah, it's definitely faster as you can see. It's definitely faster. Okay, yeah, that's definitely, I think that's better. The start is a little bit slow. I think it's just because the studio is lagging out for me, but boom, once it processes everything, it's very quick and it's effective. Auto roll should be very nice. Yeah, auto roll seems to work. And auto roll does not put this stuff in inventory, so I need to fix that, right? Make sure it goes into inventory. Oh, wait, it does. Oh, it's working. Okay, perfect. So auto roll is actually working, so. Perfect.
just doing the video. Oh, so it's working. Nice. Perfect. So, five. It's updating. And... to update I think in a bit I don't know how long the update timer is I didn't change that but boom okay it works perfect that's so good so basically if you guys don't know what I did there basically what I went I went to script and I changed the coin system into rule system so the game recognizes what rules is in my game because if I do coins they're not gonna know what coin is right because there's no coin in my game so I think changing it to rules just make sure the game knows what they're looking for what data so did that so we got a leaderboard right now Again, as you can see, I'm doing minimal coding right now. I'm just been chat GPT. I'll show you guys a picture of my chat GPT in a bit if I find it. But for that's for that for now. And I'll be back with that when I figure what I'm going to do next. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering how I figure out, like, once a player click rolls, the images pop up. Basically, I asked chat GPT how to show images in a player skin, blah, blah, blah. And I realized how they did local images. So I realized we have something called local role, right, for the role system. So I just ended up adding this in the end and it actually ended up working. So... It's just basic stuff, you know, it's just gotta like connect the dots and I feel like it was very simple for me Because in Roblox, as you can see, um, if I go down, right, I pick in roles, you can get a local module, right, and I have roles here So I was like, okay, maybe if I just like add this at the end Instead of the text, this will work and I did that and it was not working So I was like, wait a minute, so I went down here And I looked for a role, right, role frame and I was like, wait, this thing is text labels If I want to show images, it's gotta be an image label, right So I changed the image label and I named it to whatever the text label was called, which is show role and boom, it just popped up right there. It was very simple, basic stuff, you know, guys. Um, I'm not a good at coding, not at all, but I'm good at like connecting dots. And I'm just kind of like going off the vibe ChatGPT gives me, putting it there, using my knowledge of Python a little bit and putting it up there. That's about it. All right, guys. So if you're wondering why I'm having a bunch of cuts and jumps in there, because it's because after everything I do, I'm like in the YouTube for like an hour or two, just looking for videos, trying to figure out like a concept I'm trying to get. And I'm in chat GPT for like half an hour trying to like tell him my problem and try to find, find a fix. So recording all that is near impossible, okay? So I have to make cuts. But basically for the inventory system, I went back to my backup, right? I went back to the old version because I made a lot of copies and none of them were like working, was breaking them. So basically what I'm trying to do is, you see how they're each in a different grid, like different box, right? So I'm trying to make it so every time player rolls something, let's say Pikachu, for example, the Pikachu card that they see on the rolling screen, like this that's what shows up here as well not the name right but what i'm what i'm having problem with is like making it so it like stacks like pikachu if they get three pikachu right it only shows one and says time three in the bottom and the, I, I can't even get the picture to show up right now it's really it's really making me struggle here because the picture just showing up here is big problem already and like the way it's like cloning like i want it to not have like boxes like like i want it to have like no boxes until like player gets something right so I want to make it like clones. Like I wanted to clone the UI grid layer, which is, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, I believe it's in Aura. So basically this UI grid layer here, that's basically what this box is. And I wanted to clone depending on the amount of stuff the player has. And I'm having problem making it clone the images box and have the new image importing depending on what they get. Like, I don't know if you guys are getting it, but it's really, weird I'm, the way i'm explaining it but i've been on it for two three hours and i think i'm gonna call it a day for now and i'm gonna see you out tomorrow because i can't seem to figure this out right now all right guys so it's actually the third day i yesterday basically i ended up kept trying to figure this out and as you can see on oh that's youtube i've been working on that but i made sure to get a two times three times thing i figured it out you know the new chance for this one making the main mentor system say two times three times to duplicates and I made sure like once the image is clicked, um, they see a card label with like the actual card image. This was pretty simple to do. Most, more than ChatGPT, YouTube was more helpful for this one. And for the, what do you call? I gave the ChatGPT my entire code for the uh, player script, a server script, and it gave me a code that will make it so the inventory updates with uh, the, what do you call the picture of the actual item? Um, this is not the only time it took. It took way more tries. I've been doing this for like 30, 40 times at this point. Chat GPT and YouTube combined. But it's it works. It's very buggy. Like as you can see, it bugs out sometimes. Like that this line is valid. It's probably because there's aura in this game. And I just removed the aura concept completely from my code. So it's probably like doing something with the thing that's like, you know, in, interfering. But I, I don't want to fix that right now. I'll do that later. I don't think it's, it's going to be that hard. But now as you can see, there's three times Pikachu, right? And if I roll something new... 
for example Bulbasaur is gonna come with Bulbasaur as you can see it's gonna stack on top uh, it took me some time to figure out how to center it on the middle of the UI gridlock because it was like not centered it was like off over here so it took me some time to figure that out but I've been working on this game roughly for 20 hours in total now and because yesterday I was trying to figure out this inverter system out so badly that it took me forever I mean forever so that's what happens when you don't have coding experience right it's just gonna take you simple stuff's gonna take you forever and yeah sometimes that so image was not showing up sometimes this thing was not centered sometimes nothing was showing up sometimes the bug right here ticked me off like you know like maybe like you know what do you call like try to fix stuff for no reason um, the least stuff doesn't work yet equip i'm trying to make that show like a picture on top of my head but for now that's what we got going on and yeah that stack i'm i'm glad the stacking thing didn't take that long it was very simple actually it was like uh where do you go it's like if i go over here into server script stories oh i got something in first right uh, if i go to service i have made so many backups of the game so i don't lose that progress stack i think like the 10th backup for this game or something but this script basically does the times two times three thing for the duplicates and the server script right here stuff uh this basically helped me like show the images on the actual thing oh i, I don't think i showed you guys properly the one thing i worked on but this is very long okay if you don't have experience it's gonna take you forever but if you click on it, you can see it shows over here now that's which is awesome i think this is like my favorite part about this whole thing right now but yeah if you don't know coding it's gonna take forever like i am taking I, i'm sure if you guys know coding you could figure this out in like 20 minutes sure but i don't know all that stuff but i think it's a lot of progress i've done for now and I, one of my biggest thing I want to do is definitely show the thing on top of the player's head. But I don't know if I'm going to get to that this video or not. But I definitely want to work on it. So, yes, yeah, so we'll see what that happens. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. I'm going to call it a day because it's already 18 minutes long. And I don't want to make this any longer. So, for the next video, I'm definitely going to try to add a trading system and more stuff. And I'm also going to go like I have to go away from the Pokemon whole idea. I think I'm going to move on from Pokemon because I don't want to get in trouble with copyright. I don't think it's going to matter, but still... I'm just not going to do it, and yeah, thank you guys.